Welcome back, everybody. Time to get down and dirty and get stuff organized. So I'm going to start um, by finding wood, which I imagine I have sitting here somewhere. Rubber tree planks, those will work. Wooden planks, I don't think it really makes any difference which I use. It shouldn't. I don't really anticipate using either of these for anything too lengthy. Um, I will need the rubber wood for the second floor. I could do something completely different on the second floor, though. Uh, basically, what I'm doing here is just making a handful of chests. And just to not play favoritism and to be left with some of both wood styles. Don't know why I didn't put those all in the same stacks, because I totally could have. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw those right here. And yes, I know they are not locked. And that's fine. My inventory is full. Yes, super intriguing, I know. Just shoving all this stuff from one chest to another. And I can do it some more. Wahoo. And basically all of this is being done so I can knock that chest out. And then grab everything out of this chest. Because I need to eliminate chests. Actually, I don't need to eliminate them at all. I just need to consolidate, which doesn't look like I have anything there. It can be consolidated, so I'll just go ahead and throw it all in this next chest. Da, 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 na, na. Yes, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away, go away. Um, you know, I can go in there too. I'm going to upgrade these chests to iron, I think. So, I will be getting rid of them. Oh, I didn't break this chest down. I should have done that. Alright. So, I've got two of those chests now. And... Let me just see here. If we start with a wooden chest, well, it's actually a wooden lock chest, but whatever. Our next step up is an iron. Which we can lock. But that actually uses cast iron. Do I have a whole bunch of cast iron sitting around? No, I do not. Fortunately, I have a bunch of raw iron sitting around, so it can be rectified get rid of that pipe, otherwise it's going to try to push them all out. Which I don't want it doing. And that gives me enough to make one. Wahoo! And just to make sure, that is an iron chest. Yes. I could upgrade them further. I don't know if there's a huge advantage to doing that. I mean... I guess there kind of is, because they'll hold more stuff. But I don't know if I need that much more stuff being held or being holdable, whatever. Alright, so. Take this all away. Take those out and that out. Not breakable by hand, okay. Going to need the diamond pickaxe to harvest these. Alright, this wire can go bye-bye. I had forgotten how long this takes to chop. I am going to need more wire. Don't I have more? Yeah, I do. Okay, so. Then I will... Harvest that out. Um, I am going to go ahead and fill that in with tiles there, and I'll put the floor back in 
That is a stone that has not been turned mossy. Let's throw these in. Okay, MV grinder there. And let's go ahead and throw the pipes into the grinder. Uh, furnace there. And then a pipe between them. Now I could have them butt up next to each other without any issues. In fact, wouldn't there be a reason to do that? Everything that was ground would then be processed. Are there any cases where I would not want that? Yes, there are. I need a detecting. Gold dust and coal dust. Sorting. Yeah, let's grab that. A vacuuming. I will need that when I eventually get some chickens. But I don't have any chickens right now, so I don't need it. Okay, so let's throw a sorting in. And that, of course, is going to create this issue. And that issue. So it's easier... If I put a space in here... Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Diamond just mines too quickly. Okay, and put this here. Then, if I put the furnace here, put the sorting tube there and a standard tube there, and then a one coming off up the top and over. And that, and then an iron chest. Alright, so that. The green color will need coal dust and gold dust. So green should grab coal and gold. And I will go ahead and throw those in there right off. Alright, and then let's grab these lumps I have. Uh, gonna leave some coal as coal. I don't think I ever need it as coal, but just because I may as well. And I'm going to throw all of these in. And now Blinky Plant should be kicking these down into here. Okay, and this is not working. Oh, which isn't good. Uh, I need to kill that blinky plant. Okay. So, what's our issue? Yes, I know, it won't fit. Let me take the dust out of there. It's not going out through the side. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Well, this might be a solution. Whoa, three of them and an alligator? Ay ay ay. Okay, I'm pretty sure the reason this is not working is because... Technic is, um, how, how would I explain this? It uses the world direction. So, in other words, what happens is everything is going to run in a direction this way. So it'll always eject out to the left or the way I'm facing here. If it's set up this way, it needs to eject that way, which it doesn't. So I have to recalibrate my stuff to fit into this thin space, which is not going to work well. 
So, may chance I should set it up elsewhere. Hmm. How am I looking up here? If I punch a hole through the floor here. Alright, so that is right there. And I could run a pipe this way through here. Um, I mean, I could. I can't reach this very well, though. All right. So this is what we're going to do. It's not the most elegant, but it, it should work. All right. So punch this wood out. I don't know why that didn't go into my... All right. Put that back in here. Oh, come on. There we go. And run over here. Take that out. And put that there. Alright, so then... I need to put this underneath there. It does not rotate correctly. But I have a screwdriver, so I can fix that. I want it pointing down. Which, I can't tell if it's doing right now or not. Yes, it is. Okay, good. So it's pointing down, which is marvelous. I don't know where I'm going to stash the blinky plant. And let's start with a sorting tube right off. Now, the beautiful thing with this is I can have stuff go to the left, I can have it go to the right, I can have it go across, and I can have it go down. So I get a lot of sorting options right off the bat. Like that. And that's great, because there's some stuff that I get that I may not need to sort at all. The trick's gonna be... How do I determine what needs to be sorted and what doesn't. Um, I could use... See, there's so many options. And that's what makes it all the more confusing. Okay, well, let's run this pipe across and down. Unfortunately, this is going to mean I need a lot more... a lot more cable. Well... Start picking it up and running it that way. Now the easiest slash best way to do that. Fortunately, I don't need to ever upgrade this to anything higher voltage. But still, this is going to require quite a bit. Do I have that kind of material sitting around? Do you have a lot of copper? Paper? Do I have paper someplace? I feel like I do. Uh, six pieces. Uh, papyrus? Got a bunch of that. Alright, so... Let's see here. We need paper. Let's do ten. I don't even know if I can do that. Yes, I can. 40 sheets of paper, okay. LV cable, let's do 10 of those. Do I need 60? Let's start with just 20. I don't want to waste all my copper if I don't have to. And then I need rubber, which that should give me plenty. Okay, medium voltage. Cable, let's just do all. Let's see what that gives me. 18, 25. That might be enough. Depends on how I run this. Okay, so I want it. Well, it can be hidden behind. Oh, but that, that doesn't really. 
because I don't want it all visible. That's the thing. The ceiling goes down one, but the floor could still stay this height. Right? If I keep the floor up, that gives me less space for machinery. I'm just going to use this chest as the machine. I put it at that height. Which, if I try to put a tube off, it's going to loop. If I put a tube there, it's going to join. Which then pretty much makes the slower useless. Kind of. Ish. So what... What do I want to do here? Um, I could put a teleport tube there. That would honestly probably be the best idea. Do I have desert stone? Desert cobble? I do. So I Oh, and I have desert stone as well. So that that would be a that would be a completely uh feasible option, I guess. Do that. I would need a Mies block, which makes it kind of really expensive. But I do have enough Mies crystal where I could build that. And then it does give you two, which is good because you need one to send and one to receive. And that would pretty much just pick up everything. And then I could have it just go wherever and go to another sorting facility. So I may end up doing that, but that'll be later on. Okay, so I'm going to keep the floor lower. Just because I think it needs to be. So we'd put a machine there. Pipe to connect. Pipe to connect. And then another machine. Yeah, because I still need to be able to sort out. Or do I? Yeah, I'd probably still want to. So I'd throw a sorting tube in. Uh, sure, I'll throw down an iron chest. Why not? Yeah, I can still break that by hand. So then we would do going up and over. And then we would have our actual chest here, which would house all of the ores. So now to run wires to this, I could just go right in the wall. Which would be the easiest. But again, I don't want to see those wires. So what I'm going to do... And it's going to end up requiring way more material to do this. But... That's the price you pay for being uh, OCD. Okay, so... I'm going to hollow out a pathway underground here um, and that needs to go away so that can go in all right so those will be my two machines and they'll have power and I can throw these back in uh, I guess behind the machine I wouldn't even have to put those blocks may as well keep them out because I'll need them elsewhere I'm assuming I'll need them elsewhere. Alright, so those are running. That's running. What if I... Just dig a tunnel way that I can walk in. Okay, that's my... That's my travel net. So I probably want to just do right here I'm thinking okay now that's coming from there so it can go right there all right and that joins so that can go away and that there um or wait I'm going to put a whole floor in. I may as well just put that down right away. 
that way the floor can go right on top of it. And then I'll just have this showing. And maybe I'll put a battery next to it. Just so I have an idea of what kind of power I'm sitting with. Maybe. I don't know for sure. Well, a lot is still kind of in the intermediate planning stages. Okay, so theoretically I have power out there now. And let's grab my upgrade out of those. Grab those two. And throw them in place, see what happens. So we need the furnace. We need the grinder. That's where where'd the grinder go? Is it just floating around here someplace? So it is. Silly grinder just floating around. Alright, so let's try this now. Put a logic control unit in that. And a logic control unit in there. And we'll put the chest in place. And I'll just throw yeah, because you'll never see that. Alright, and then that. This green needs to be doing gold dust and coal dust. Now let's go to the grinder and let's throw some coal in there. Okay, it's powered. That's good. Goes through the tube. Detects that it needs to go up and over. Goes up and over. Excellent. Um, yeah, I don't think I can do that. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't. That's weird. Hey, let me put an item in there. Even though I really shouldn't be able to. Alright, and then let's do some iron lumps and see what happens with those. Now, first it's going to have to pull out all the coal dust and the gold dust. Which isn't a big deal. Transfers them all into this chest here, which is my ores. I may want to upgrade this, but I can always do that later. Okay, gold's going through. Good, one up. Excellent. Iron is going into the furnace, is getting cooked. And ingots are going into here. All right, so that works. Excellent. Now, would I ever want to grind anything uh, we, I would still want to come in here, because that's a food thing. But I might want that to get sorted out here. Or I could just do another setup for food. Like I could have a different furnace and grinder to do those. Or I could... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so what if... Um... Let me go ahead and just grab those out of here. I'm going to cook up some cobblestone just so I can patch these holes on the floor and stuff. Um, what if... What am I looking at for time? 23 minutes. Okay, we'll have to use in the next episode. I can throw another pipe in elsewhere. And we'll figure out something for cooking food. So raw meat and wheat and stuff. And I can start getting bread. So I got a ton of wheat. But I want to get that process automated to make it into bread for me. So, But like I said, we'll do that in the next episode. And we'll be getting closer and closer to a fully automated, full-scale, full-blown production system. And yeah, it'll be pretty sweet. So be sure to tune in next week, same time, same channel, for the next episode.